What's good? It's your boy Trouble T Roy. Hit don't get hit box and talk. Back with another one. Um, so just got some news. Uh this has been the last couple hours or so, I'm not sure. But apparently the fight that was uh set to uh happen in what was it November? Uh, November 16th in Las Vegas between Shakur Stevenson and Frank Martin for the the vacant uh, WBC title at light, lightweight, 135 pounds, is no longer a thing. According to uh, Mike Carp- Carpen- Carpenter, I can't say his damn name, uh, Mike Coppinger, uh looks like uh, Frank Martin has pulled out interesting um not understanding what's going on they haven't given any real reason yet or if they are going to give a reason but it said that the uh, fight was pretty much set to go uh both uh sides uh both Shakur's side and uh, Frank's side had came to uh, uh agreements with the terms and uh, the fight was set to be made and, or basically it was made I guess or right there at the cuff of being made and last minute uh yeah frank martin pulls out so yeah i'm not sure what's going on with that that is very interesting uh apparently uh due to this uh Shakur stevenson he, uh, obviously he's pretty upset and again another fighter that doesn't want any issues with him which i mean i'm not surprised um but yeah, uh, he's pretty upset, but he says he's willing to fight anybody for that WBC title. He's willing to uh, match up against anybody, you know, in the weight class or around the weight class, he says. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's nothing else to the story, which is weird. They don't say it's an injury. They don't say that maybe there's some uh, maybe family issue, personal issue. Um, he's sick or something. Is Frank sick? Is he... Uh, you know, or he just got to, is he, did he just get nervous all of a sudden? Like, what happened? I'm trying to figure that out because that's a, this is just random as hell. <laughs> you get this far into making a fight and all of a sudden, that's, you know, that's it. He just said, nah, I'm cool. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. I, I'm wondering if more is going to come out to the story later on. I'm pretty sure something has to come uh, pretty soon. Because I can't just see him just dropping out just for nothing. I mean, I don't really look very highly of him. Because, I, I mean, he hasn't really fought anybody to really uh, say, you know, he's that guy. But I think he's, he's a, he is a great fighter for what I have seen. I mean, you know... I like the way he took uh, Michelle Rivera out of his uh, comfort zone and uh, basically made Rivera fight his fight because you know it was pretty. That was a pretty interesting match because not only Rivera does the fight the way he fought Frank Martin, but I think he was just took it out of his uh, took it out of his own zone with when it came to uh, um, Frank Martin style. Um, I thought that was probably his best fight that I'd seen uh, as far as uh, watching Frank Martin. I, I ain't seen a lot of his earlier fights. I didn't really know who he was until re- basically recently after really everybody else started talking about him because he was uh, fighting under uh, Spence. You know, I really don't think most people was really following him until they found out that uh, found out that he was a Spence fighter, to be honest. Because <laughs> I didn't know that about him until I found, until I found out until everybody started talking about him being a Spence fighter. I really never cared. And I still really don't care much to this day. I, like I said, I think he's a great fighter. I think he, he has a great style. And I think he, he, I mean, I mean, he's, he's, he's very talented, very skillful, you know. Um, quick on his feet, you know, southpaw. He knows how to get in and out. I mean, yeah, skillful, real, real, real nice, real nice guy, real nice guy in the ring, you know. But, but like I say, I haven't seen as far as uh, opposition. I mean, I think this would have been a good. Uh, 
I mean, win or lose, I think this would be a good, would have been a good match. It could have been something that if he could have made it close with Shakur, if Shakur happened to win, or either or happened to win, if it's a close fight, you could see a, a rematch in the future. It's one of those fights. I think they could they could actually have been some good rivals because I think both of their skill sets, especially them both being southpaw too, uh, could have made a real interesting fight. I think it could have been a real interesting fight, a real, uh, you know, competitive fight between the two. Their styles are very, they both have very sharp styles. Um, I do favor Shakur over, really I favor Shakur over anybody in the lightweight division right now, but, you know, that's neither here or there. But uh, I would have favored Shakur definitely to beat uh, Frank Martin just based off of what I've seen from Frank Martin. Obviously, everything I've seen from Shakur Stevenson. Um, but still, yeah, so anyways, yeah, so I guess you could call this a duck. I mean, I could see <coughs> in a situation like this, it's like at this point, it, it looks worse now because you waited till you got all the way you got this far into making the fight this far into making the fight to the point where the fight already had a date it was basically already announced all you had to do is i guess fulfill whatever last thing i don't i don't even know if everything had been signed and then he, i don't know if you could sign and then and then pull out i feel like that would be uh like uh some kind of issue with a contract like that'd be something that you have to uh you know you're basically gonna get in trouble for you're gonna be under a contract and then you're you know not following fulfilling the contract so i feel like there would be issues if you did that so maybe the final you know signature was the final signature wasn't uh uh yet on the contract yet maybe i don't know how that shit goes in the, uh, indoors that's really none of my business but what i do know is that from what's being announced frank martin has pulled out so however that went about it just looks kind of bad that all of this we got this far into making the fight for you to pull out in the last minute like that that that's what makes it look bad i mean if you never wanted to fight you should have never uh gave it any energy you should have never put any energy any anything towards it in the first place you wouldn't look as bad you could say look i got other things i'm looking to do yada 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 yeah you probably would have had a little bit of hate like nah fight Shakur, you know but you know people gonna hate here and there but this looks bad because you got all the way to the the end of the tunnel or whatever the end of the bridge and decided to turn back around you made it this far and then decided to turn around and that's not a good look so I mean, so it continues. A lot of people, like I said, people you seem like Shakur can't, can't get a fight that he wants for nothing. And a lot of us been saying it's going to be a problem for him, just like it was a problem for uh, Terrence Crawford. Funny, they both uh, train a lot together. And I mean, that whole, it seemed like just that whole team just seems to have issues getting fights that they want. For some reason, it's, it's kind of funny because it's like, dang, people just don't want to fight these guys. Nobody wants to fight Shakur. It's crazy, you know. And it's like, okay, who's gonna fight? Do we know Tank ain't gonna fight him? You know what I'm saying? Devin don't want to fight him. He ain't coming back down to 135, which he shouldn't. I don't think he should, anyways. But even if he had the, even if he still could, I wouldn't. I don't think he would just to come fight uh, Shakur. I just don't think that would happen. Cause I feel like if he would, if he was, if he was gonna do that, if he felt like he could, he would have done it already. You know. Uh, so I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, Isaac Cruz, he's just chasing Tank, so that fight ain't gonna happen. You know. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else there is for, uh, I mean, Cabosos. I know he just, he just, uh, had a interesting fight recently. I didn't even watch the fight, but I heard about it. I heard that, 
I don't know, somebody got robbed. I ain't gonna, well, obviously we know who, but I ain't gonna get into it because, like I said, I didn't watch the fight. So, but heard some controversy about that one. But Cambosos could be a up and opponent. You know, maybe. I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. Shakur is, like they say, too good for his own good. You know, so I was like, he has to show some real vulnerability in his next fight to get people to want to fight him. You know, because look what happened, like, let's say, like with Devin Haney when he got uh, uh, clipped by uh, Linares. You know, what it was that 10th round, I believe, the 10th or 11th round. And then after that, uh, all Devin did was hold on to him, hold for dear life. It's like, Shakur gonna have to have one of them moments for people to say, oh, oh shit, he's only human. Yeah, let's go ahead. Yeah, I'll fight him. Yeah, he ain't even look good. You know, he ain't as good as people say he is or people try to make it. That's what it always takes for people to look bad and then I'll say everybody won't fight you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, so. I don't know, though. This is uh, this is interesting. Uh, I'm gonna uh, keep on listening for more information because there has to be more to this uh this cancellation, I don't believe it, it can't, can't just be, he just woke up and said, nah, I don't feel like it, or it could be that, I don't know, the way boxing is nowadays, who knows, we'll see though, I'm sure something else will come out pretty soon, but, uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think about that, this is pretty interesting, pretty damn interesting, um, let me know what y'all think in the comments, hit me on Twitter, uh, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good shit, alright y'all, Trouble T-Roy, hit, don't get hit, box to talk.